with the rising costs of postage and the potential for disruptions to mail delivery you may be thinking it's time to start sending invoices and AR statements to your clients via email but we'd like to show you how TPS can help you do just that in our TPS net version 2.9 you can email invoices AR statements and letters as PDF attachments directly from the program these tools will create the invoice, statement, or letter as a Word document and has the option to also create a PDF copy. It saves both the Word and the PDF documents in your shared invoice directory, but attaches the PDF copy to the email. It also allows you to add a subject line and a message in the body of the emails. So what would be required to use these tools? You have to have Word installed on your computer, but if you want, to make use of the PDF feature, you must have either Word 2007, 2010, 2013, or 2016 installed. You also have to have Microsoft Outlook installed, and of course you have to have the client's email stored within the client properties. I'm now in the client section of TPSNet 2.9. Before I run the email invoice or statement batch, I need to go to Tools and turn on my connection with Outlook. I can't run the email invoice batch unless TPS is connected to Outlook. That can be a temporary connection. In other words, you can turn the connection on, run the email invoice batch, and then go back and turn the connection to Outlook off. In email invoice batch, I need to enter a date range so that I can generate a list of invoices that I'd like to send out. As soon as I generate my list, I see I have five invoices altogether. One of them says, yes, it exists, and four say, no, that they don't exist. What this means is, the four that say no, I have not actually created the Word document yet. The one that says yes, this means I have previewed it and created the Word document in our shared invoice directory, and it's sitting there, ready and waiting to be sent. At the bottom of this screen, there is a box that you can check to create your invoice in not only a Word document, but as a PDF attachment. I can add a message to the body of my email by using this icon. The drop-down box at the bottom provides us choices as far as sending our invoices. Create if it does not exist and send new means of the five invoices listed, please do the word merge and create the word document for just those four that say no and send them. It will not create an email out the one that says yes. Create if it does not exist and send all means it will create the word documents for the four that say no but it will send all five as PDF attachments. This is the choice I'll make at this time. When I click OK, it warns me that this operation could take a long time, and that's fine. It also then gives me the option to enter a subject line for all my emails. Once I click OK to that, it is going to start creating a Word document for each of the invoices that say no in the exist column. It's then going to create an email for each of the five invoices and attach the PDF document to each one of those emails. When it's done, I'll really quickly go back into Tools Customize and I'll show you in the invoice directory where the five invoice documents are saved. Here's the invoice directory and these are the five invoices, four that just got created and one that had been there prior. Now I'm going to cancel out of here and cancel out of Tools Customize and I want to bring up my Outlook draft folder. Here you can see the five emails that got created and how each one of them has my subject line. Uh, it has the uh, body, the, the uh, message I put into the body of the email as well as it's got the actual word, uh, PDF attachment for the invoice. And uh, from here then I could go ahead and review them, send them one at a time, or what we can also do is have you go to the developer tab and we can help you install a macro we designed that will, with a few clicks of your mouse, send all emails from your draft folder. 
Now you're probably asking yourself, well, why do they even have to go to the draft folder in the first place? Why don't they just get emailed out? The main reason is when a program like TPS tries to access Outlook and send an email, Outlook throws up a security warning that's like, do you want to give permission to this program to send? And uh, because we're creating individual emails with attachments for each one of your invoices, that means however many emails you're sending, Outlook is going to generate that many security warning messages. So we thought it would be way more efficient to just put them in the draft folder. That way you can review them and then use our macro to send them all at once. Okay, so very quickly I would like to go back to Tools and show you Email Statement Batch and how it is virtually identical to Email Invoice Batch. Um, it's just basically a few additional questions that you have to answer, but you still generate the list. You then can say that you want it attached as a PDF attachment. You've got the same choices in the drop-down box, and you can enter uh, the body of the email as well as add a um, uh, a subject line to the email. So it's identical to email invoice batch in how it works. And then lastly under tools email mass mailing letters this utility again works basically the same as the email invoice batch and email statement batch but it allows you to create customized word templates to generate letters to your clients like whole categories of clients, but the difference is that you can filter per partner, filter for a category, and get just the exact list of clients that you need to send this particular letter to. So here I'm filtering for personal income tax clients, and I could also filter for just partner Donna White and hit generate, and I get just the three. Um, again, works the same as far as creating a PDF, sending, the choices are the same, as well as I can create the um, body uh, uh, verbiage for the email and a uh, subject line. If you want to learn more about uh, email invoice batch or email statement batch or email mass mailing letters, please contact TPS support at one 877-2231 or email us directly at support at tpssoftware.com. Thanks very much.